Hey YouTube, what is up? And welcome back to tutorial number 39. And in this tutorial, we can carry on styling our website over here. So in the previous tutorial, we left off just uh, finishing our top nav. And uh, just in case you guys maybe forgot since the last tutorial where we were, I'll just run this in Firefox. And as you can see, our header is now like in the correct place with our logo on the left and our title just next to it and then uh, our links are all in the right place but now we just need to go ahead and get the rest of this stuff sorted so back to our CSS file and what I want to do now is of course just add in <laughs> a comment and I'm just gonna say end navigation and we'll say start uh, what is this? We're going to start styling this section. Cool. So now we can go ahead and grab our section, and it was actually called the section. So grab that there. Uh, oops. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, this section. And what I want to do now is obviously we need to get our main section displayed on this side on the left and then we want our recent news floated over and displayed on the right so I kind of just gave you guys a hint of what we need to do there and we need to float these elements so let me just go back to our folder over there cool and so we can go ahead and just float left and um, we'll set a margin over here to uh, I'm actually going to use quite a, a bit of a shortcut yeah so margin 0 pixels 10 pixels 10 pixels 0 pixels and I know a lot of you guys probably are looking at that and you're like what the heck you never showed us this before okay well what happens is when you do that that is a shortcut in CSS and basically what it does is it styles the top right bottom and then left okay so our top has zero pixels our right has 10 pixels uh, margin and then our bot uh, the bottom of our section will have a 10 pixel margin again and then on the left we'll have zero pixels so zero pixels zero pixels 10 pixels 10 pixels cool and after that we can go ahead and add in some padding so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, add in 10 pixels of padding and then 2 pixels uh, a border sorry a border of 2 pixels solid green cool and now what I have to do is I have to go ahead and set my width but like I said uh, a couple tutorials ago actually up at the top here we set our width to 960 because it divides into three parts really well so our section is going to take up two columns of our website so that means the total width and let me just go ahead and uh, I'll put the comment over here we want the total width of our website or the our section to be 640 pixels so 640 pixels and if you look at what it is now okay we've got 10 pixels of padding on each side so that's 10 pixels on the left and then again another 10 pixels on the right so that is 20 pixels over all width for padding okay and in our margin over here we've got zero pixels on the top and we've got zero pixels on the left but we have got 10 pixels on the right so again that is another 10 pixels that we have to worry uh, worry about so um, width so now we've got uh, that's 30 pixels so 640 minus 30 gives us 610 and then 
we've got a border over here that we actually need to worry about again. So that is another two pixels on each side, which adds another four pixels to add to the width. Okay, so that means we actually, if you go ahead and you minus six, take 640 and you minus that 10 and you minus that 20, we had 610 and then you have to go ahead and minus that 4. That means our total width can only be 606 pixels. Okay, so it's good to keep a calculator handy when you are calculating the width of your site. But like I said, um, a lot of people will just go ahead and use uh, that 960 pixels for their width and then it really helps when you're planning your website later on how wide you're going to want your website to be. So now we have a total width for our section of 640 pixels but we only set the width to 606 and then our border and our padding and our margin kind of take up the rest of the space and it all adds up. So there we go. And now what we have to do is um, go ahead and uh, what do I want to do? Hold on, let me just pause. Okay, cool. Well, I don't want to do anything there just yet. So we can now carry on with the rest of our site. And what I'm going to do now is we can end section styling and start, uh, what is that, side news. Um, so we can go ahead and grab our side news. Side news and now uh, we can see that we've already used 640 pixels of our website width with our section. That means we've got another 320 left for the side news. So that total width can only be 320 pixels. I've got my asterisks, asterisks. 320 pixels total. So that's what it can only add up to. And what we need to do now is just float it left and then we need to add padding of 10 pixels and we need to add a border of 2 pixels solid orange and then I want to go ahead and set a width of and like I said we're going to have to calculate again so 320 pixels of total space that we have for our side news minus 10 pixels for the padding but it's 10 pixels on each side so um, that adds up to okay it comes down to uh, 300 so okay so you have to minus 20 pixels and then again on our border we have to go ahead and minus those two pixels or, or four pixels actually because it's two pixels on each side so minus another four pixels and that lets us have a width a total width of 296 pixels and that actually adds up perfectly to 960 pixels which means our website fits okay and that is a good thing so now when I go ahead and I click refresh you can see we now have our main section over here with a green border and our articles inside of our main section and then on the side over here we have the recent news uh, and it just says add me on Twitter so there we go our website actually fits in the place that we gave it or the space that we gave it now <laughs> as you can see our footer is kind of displaying in like a really funny place and what we need to do now is we just need to get that to display right at the bottom of the page and if you watch my float tutorials then you'll know that's actually really easy so let's just go ahead and inside news and uh, what is that start footer 
and all we need to do now is just grab our footer by ID which was page underscore footer and we just need to set that um, to clear both and border to pixel solid black and uh, padding of 10 pixels and then I'm just gonna go ahead and text align this to the center so it doesn't look stupid all by itself on the left go ahead and click ref uh, save come back here and we can go ahead and click refresh and as you can see our footer is now at the bottom of the website below everything else with a black border all the way around it and the content is in the center so that's pretty cool and that's pretty much the layout of the website done and now all we need to do is spend some time trying to make it look pretty so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment and if you found this video helpful then please go ahead and click like because it's really gonna help my channel grow so thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time